Okay, um... Now... I... decided to move this channel in a different direction, but this cannot be ignored. All over TikTok right now there is a new trend going along um, in which women are filming themselves at the gym at nice angles showing off their curves and their assets and then when men glance over and it is a glance not a stare they accuse them of harassing them now let me get things very very straight harassment on any level by anyone gender by any gender by any body i don't care what you are who you are or what you go at by harassment is wrong and i don't care but that is not what's going on in these videos okay <laughs> <coughs> what is going on in these videos if you actually watch them properly is these women are in the gym they are working out but the videos very clearly are them working out showing off their curves and they are showing off their curves and their assets very nicely I might add and when the men either look in their general direction or glance at them now it is very important to note that actually when you look at these TikToks watch these videos look at these clips that they are glancing it's a general glance or a look in their general direction they're actually looking at them you know if they look over at them it's their general direction i've never actually seen one where somebody is actually staring at them <coughs> <coughs> okay not once have i seen that in all the ones i've seen okay not once have i seen a guy actually purposely stare at one of these girls okay but the second a guy glances at her or looks in her direction and it has I saw one where a guy actually looked in her general direction and it was obvious that he was looking off to the side of her not actually at her it was very obvious that he was looking although she, it was in her general direction it was away from her just to the side okay it's almost like he was looking at somebody else. There must have been another person just off from her. Um, <coughs> and she, they then claim that they're being harassed. They have a right go at these people, these men. Call them all sorts of things, claim that they're being harassed. And I actually did see one where a guy went over to help a girl who was having trouble putting her weights onto a bar because she put the bar on the floor and tried to put the weights on and was struggling because there's an actual piece of equipment that she could have put the bar on to put the weights on there because actually that's how it works but she had chosen to put the bar on the floor to to apply the weights he went over and helped her and she put up all these things about, I'm going to cut off his PP, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. How dare they? And then said, if I was a man, he wouldn't have helped me. Actually, he would have. In the gym, there is a code. If somebody is in trouble, they help them, regardless of who they are. You don't leave somebody in trouble. And I don't care whether they're male or female. Nobody leaves anybody in trouble at the gym. They will always help them. Men help each other at the gym. It's a bro, it's a code. It's almost like a bro code. They will help each other at the gym and there's nothing thought about it. Nobody thinks anything of it. But she was in trouble. She was having an issue. And he helped her. And though she automatically assumed she was being sexually harassed and she wasn't. 
He was helping her put on a weight. And it was obvious that's what he was doing because that's what you saw him do. And then he walked off. And she puts up all this spiel about how she was being abused and how she was being harassed at the gym. It's a very troubling trend that is coming. It's a very troubling trend that is happening. We all know in in regardless of anything else that harassment in the gym is very real and harassment in the gym does happen and men have been known to harass women in the gym it's a very well known thing it's something that has been about for a very long time it is not right it should never happen to anybody but now women have taken it way too far it's become very toxic to the point where they are not being harassed and claiming harassment is dangerous. Be very aware that if you see women in the gym purposely filming themselves, trying to get attention, it's almost like baiting men to look at them. They almost want to go to the gym and men should have blinders on, you know, like they do to horses in races. They put blinders on them so that they can only see straight in front of them so they don't get distracted. That's what they want men to have. So they go to the gym with blinders on them so they cannot look around. They cannot look at anybody else so they can just see straight in front of them. Nothing else is. That's what they want men to have when they're in the gym. It doesn't work. It's stupid. It's completely ridiculous. And at the end of the day, (coughs) (coughs) at the end of the day, to expect people to not want to not look at you if you're gonna do exercises that show off your assets if you're going to make videos where you're purposely trying to show off your assets you know if you're going to create an ambience around you where you are showing off yourself you're going to get people look at you both men and women are going to look at you if you don't want that attention stop doing it that simple just stop doing it stop getting stop making yourself aware of that attention you know these women are toxic now i don't know why they're making these videos we don't know i don't know why i don't know if they're making these very very nice videos for other men on the internet i don't know if they were going to put these videos on the internet for men to look at oh look at my nice exercises you can see my ass you know Yes, but I've got a very nice bubble butt. Oh, isn't it great? You can see it really nicely in this exercise I'm doing. And oh yes, look, I've got such a perfect figure. And if I do this exercise, you can see it ever so nicely. I don't know if that's the reason they're doing it or if they're doing it to get the attention at the gym so they can accuse people of harassing them. I don't know if that is their intention, but it certainly seems like that. that's the attention of it. And if that's so, it's very, very dangerous. So... Regardless of what their intention of making that video is, of making all these whatevers are, be aware that if you're going to go to a gym and you see women behaving like that, I mean, there was one where she was taking her top off very, very slowly. I mean, it looked like she'd put it in slow-mo and she actually hadn't. She hadn't done it. She hadn't put it in slow-mo. She actually was taking her top off extremely slowly. And by doing so, people were looking at her and there were actually two men around her that actually kind of looked in her direction and they kind of it was almost like a what is she doing kind of look and you could almost see that they were they were kind of looking over her shoulder there was a guy just almost looking over her shoulder as if and it was a kind of what is she doing look so there must have been somebody else over on the other side of her you know And she was like, what are you looking at me for? Because you're taking your top off as if you're in some kind of slow motion, whatever, as if you wanted attention. And then she had a go at him for looking at, but he wasn't looking at her. He was looking over her shoulder and sort of a bit kind of what the fuck, you know, but she had a go at him. And then she posted it all over TikTok as if it was like, look at these men, they're harassing me. No, love. You know, um, it's very concerning. It's a very dangerous trend. And if you see videos like that, if you see TikToks like that, videos like that, I don't care where you see them, comment on them and say, do you know what? 
Harassment is very real. This is not harassment. Make sure people are aware that this kind of behaviour isn't acceptable. Every time you see something like this, make sure people understand that this behaviour is not acceptable, that she isn't being harassed. She's baiting men and then trying to get attention and when and then having a go at people for no reason whatever you do she's just toxic regardless of anything else she is toxic and that kind of behavior is dangerous because people who are really being harassed won't take it won't be taken seriously all the while this is going on okay and men and women can be harassed in gyms men get harassed by women all the time and it's horrible and it's just as horrible as when men harass women it's 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 unacceptable behavior and nobody should have to deal with it but to pretend to be harassed to purposely make yourself feel purposely bring attention to yourself and then pretend that you're being harassed it's dangerous and it takes away everything that real people people who are really being harassed takes it away from them and takes away from the real victims of harassment and can lead to a very dangerous path because when something really does happen to these people no one believes them it's like the boy who cried wolf and that's exactly what they're doing they're crying wolf it's not real but it is dangerous but be aware that this is happening okay i'm gonna go <coughs> <coughs>